Hey, what's up, y'all? Today we've got a pair of Johnson & Murphy Goodyear welted shoes that the guy actually brought in to have just some half soles put on them. But the more we started looking at them, it was a whole worn out shoe. And but he, they were sentimental. He still wants to keep them. So after talking to the gentleman, I said, let's just do the works. Let's just get him back up because these are obviously shoes that you, you wear a lot. You want to keep them around for a while. And it's better for the shoe to just go ahead and do a little bit more work and, uh, and then just forget just the half sole. So uh, let's get started. So here's what we're looking at right now. We went ahead and just took off that half sole. Uh, I wanted to know what we were dealing with uh, underneath this uh, before we got into it. And I could tell from the welt just by looking on the outside that it had some wear on it, but you can really see it when you remove that sole and um, it's a little, little floppy. You can see up on the toe, especially it's getting real soft and I started counting stitches in it. So there are quite a few resoles done on it and the stitches weren't pulled out, but this pretty much just half of it came off with the, uh, with the sole. And Johnson Murphy likes to use a foam instead of a cork. I'm kind of partial to, to cork. I just like, I think cork is better. These, this all has to come out. So we're basically gonna just have to strip this whole thing out, gut it, and we're gonna have to replace the welt. Um, this hill block, I've told y'all before on Johnson & Murphy Hill Blocks that crack easily. This thing is splintered in about four different places. So you'll probably see, let's do this. Look at this. Just from pulling the top lift, look at this. I just pulled the top lift and there's the block. Once again, paper. The whole block just came off in multiple chunks. This obviously, this has to be replaced. I can just take my finger and pull a chunk off. All right, so we're down to the, um, at least to the leather sole. You know, some people might be wondering, hey, is it even worth it to do this? But it's all personal preference. Some people, if you wear a shoe and it's, it's broken in, it's conformed to your foot, it's comfortable, then yeah, it is. But you know, some people would say it's not, I'd just get a new pair and some people would say, if I can have it redone, then why not? Um, it's just everyone's got their own personal preference. They do put cork in the waist, and the uh, the ran here it's in it's an okay shape, so we can use it. But as you can see, it's made out of rubber. Uh, I'm not a fan of that because it literally can just peel and tear into pieces. But it's in good shape, so as long as there's not any cracks, and when I go pulling it off, it'll show if there are any more cracks. Let's take a look. One piece. All right, so that came off clean. We can still use this. Uh, fiberglass shank. This is another reason why I like cork better. It just comes out cleaner than foam. All right, so we've got it all down to the base. We've pulled out all the old foam. This welt, you can see right here on the inside, it had already popped the stitches. So we're gonna go ahead and just take this welt off and um, put new welts on both of them. All right, so these are the leather welts here, and we are just gonna dye these black. Sometimes we sand it off and can do it natural. It comes in this kind of tannish brown, but black is easy. And then after we, uh, we dye these and we let it dry, then I will soak these in some water to make them a little more pliable. Okay, so we've got our welts. They're ready to be put on. Um, this little rand piece that I said I was gonna reuse, after looking at it, there's a lot of nail holes in here. And even though I got it off cleanly, um, we wanna put this shoe back to where he can if he wants, and he can redo them again in the future with a new welt. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and make another one of these just out of some, um, some shoulder leather and it's the right thickness and he'll just get a fresh one of these and it's done out of leather so it's better. All right, so we're gonna put new welts on these things. 
here's that ram piece that we made out of the shoulder leather. All right, so we have put the new welt on and replaced all the uh, the filling. Like I said, I like cork. I think it's a little more traditional and I think it just molds a little bit better. Uh, some of the crepe over time, it kind of loses its shape anyways. And so uh, I replaced it with cork. We replaced this new ran back here with an actual piece of shoulder leather and um, put a shank back in. It's just buried up underneath and we're ready to stick the soles and go from there. Uh, it's still a little raw around here, but in order to where it can go through my um, my stitcher, I had to get it a little bit cleaner on the edge here. So I just took off the little bit of lip and then went over the welt with a fudge wheel just to give a, a little decoration there. And um, once we sand it, it'll clean all that up. We're just putting a few nails through here. I know we already put some nails in through the RAN, but this is just, since this isn't a 360 uh, Goodyear welt, there's gotta be something that holds this to the uh, the upper itself. So, in these instances, these three quarters, we use nails.
All right, y'all, so we finished up the soles, finished up the heels, burnished the sides, and now we are going to treat the uppers. It's kind of hard to tell because the light is hitting it and it kind of looks shiny, uh, but these things are actually pretty dirty. There's scuffs all over them. So we're gonna go over with some saddle soap, then some, uh, some polishes and get them ready for the customer. All right, y'all, so we've wrapped up this pair of shoes. I think the guy's gonna be very happy with them. They uh, they were kind of a 180 from when they first came in. The, the welts were getting very flimsy with all the stitches still in there. And um, so we, we replaced that welt. The uppers were pretty, pretty nasty. So we got those cleaned up, polished up. Those look very good. And um, he actually wanted to go ahead and put one of the Martin Gebruder uh, German soles. It's a German pit sole, uh, pit tan leather. We put those on there, got them some new stacked leather blocks, and, um, and these things look good. If you like this video, then uh, make sure you subscribe, and uh, tell your friends. Thanks, until next time.